back, everyone, to another edition of the All In Football Show. I'm your man, the Ice, coming to you from Toronto, Ontario, and Canada. Big dog. I uh, love his life right there. Oh, yeah, man. The mega conference called the Big Ten. USC, UCLA, Oregon, and Washington have joined the Big Ten. How do you feel about that? If you're not mistaken, I told you, I think, two days ago, there was just going to be two big conferences. The Big Ten and all that going to turn into the 20 or whatever, how many teams. They have teams from the West Coast to the East Coast. While well, Arizona State, Arizona State, and uh, Oregon State going the Mountain West. Meanwhile, you still got Colorado and company in the Big 12. What's the two teams that said they was going to join the ACC that's on the West Coast? That's California and Stanford. They still crazy, left out. Man. They still left out, Lee Ice. No conference picked them up yet. That's, that's, hey, I don't know what college football is coming to. It's still exciting, though. I'm still watching. Like I said, I think they're just going to have two big conferences. It's interesting to see what... Notre Dame, you think Notre Dame gonna stay independent? Notre Dame's not really independent. They're really an ACC affiliate. But they are considered independent, but they are also independent from the ACC. Okay. So what that, also what that says, being an ACC, North Carolina, North Carolina State, Florida State, and Clemson, they're doing a lot of marketing. You think two of them may leave or four may leave? The department of the SEC? Man, I don't know. Do you think it's good? Good for college football to have yes, this? Yes, I think so because now you can't have the kick matches anymore. I mean, college football, as we know, as we grew up with, with NIL and all these conferences combined with teams leaving. We can't have it. It's, it's gone. We can't, have, we can't have the Alabamas playing off the P's and peeing all over themselves. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We can't have that no more. Nah. <laughs> so that's what college football looks like. What do you think about the XFL next year? You think they, their ratings are okay at best? The Rock, the Rock, Wayne Johnson off a lot of money. Yeah. It sure all depends on if he wants to continue to lose money to try to make money in the long run. Um, I think he'd try. I think he'd give it another try, another year. The XFL you know? lost the regular season battle against the USFL in right. rating, but they beat him in the championship game. Rating. Does that mean oh. anything? Okay. Well, the XFL don't have the history that the USFL has. They only had, what, one year under their belt, right, then they came back, the then they had to cancel it. USFL got players, you know, Hall of Fame players that came from the USFL. Reggie White, you mentioned one. So, Herschel Walker, you know. Calvin Bryant. Jim Kelly, you know. So they got, they got Young. good history. Yeah, Steve Young. So what about the USFL? The USFL, Blue Johnson said he'll be back next year. I think the USFL is here to stay, I think, we all know, if you go back, who destroyed the USFL, Donald Trump, you know, he tried to compete with the, with the monster machine, you can't compete with the NFL, if they would have just stayed in the spring, they probably would have never, you know, they probably would have never folded. Well, alright, we're going to let some of the fans doing some of the USFL, uh, CFL action, yeah, we recorded for them. We'll see y'all when we come back for commercial break. Oh yeah! Sacked on the play by number six, Darius Pickett. It's second and long, Argos fans. You know what to do.
Give me your NFC winner, division winners, and why the NFC East continue as Fly Eagles fly the NFC champions. Then followed by the American team, the Dallas Cowboys, and the G and the Commanders. <laughs> Watching the Commanders. Who you got and why? 
Well, the obvious pick are the Philadelphia Eagles because they are the best team in the NFC East, if not the NFC. But history tells us that there's no, there hasn't been a repeat division winner in the NFC East in 20 years. So do you go with history or do you go with the best team that your eyes see? History has been winning, but I'm gonna go with what my eyes are seeing. I'm gonna go with Philly. Okay. NFC, my pick will be the Philadelphia Fly Eagles Fly in a blow. We're not going to close. Easy win. Easy win. The NFC North features, I know everybody's been waiting for it, Lee Ice. Woo! Mm-hmm. Woo! <laughs> he dies, he dies. Kirk Cousins in the Minnesota Vikings, followed by the Bears. Then followed by dun, 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 dun. go pack go dun, 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 dun. go pack go then followed by <laughs> the Detroit Motown game we won Lions who you got and why well everybody knows Dan Campbell is my man I told y'all about the Lions last year I've been riding them for two years. They almost got there last year. Guess what? They get there this year. They win that division. But, but, everybody want to count Minnesota out. Don't count Minnesota out. Yeah, I'm saying it. I'm saying it. Can you believe I'm I'm back in Kirk Cousins? And I even just said thing. Don't well, Lee, count I... Minnesota out. Lee, I... My focus is their defensive coordinator. Lee, I... Yeah, don't count them out. I got them. <laughs> the Detroit the knee Lions bite. the knee biters winning the NFC North by game. But not over the Minnesota. Somebody else. So we move to the NFC South, B.I. Yeah. The ATL Falcons, the Glass Knight and Chicken and Waffles, and Abdullah Jabob Abdullah the Butcher Barbecue Ribs. Then you got the Who that? Who that? Who that gonna beat them Saints? There's the New Orleans Saints uh, in the home, the Popeye's Chicken Superdome, and the uh, Tom Brady Buccaneers. I can't say that no more. It's the Saint Tom Brady, but well, I'm still saying yeah, Tom Brady. Can't say that Buccaneers. no more. I'm gonna have to find a new. It's one. Hey, I gotta still say Tom Brady Buccaneers and uh, Carolina Panthers <laughs> and that Mint Property. Who you got? This is the worst division in, in the NFL. Not meaning it in a bad way. I just don't know where these teams are going. So you could take a paper bag, put all their names in that bag, and go like this and come out with a, a winner there. But who I pick, Mike Shop, guess who I'm going? The Atlanta. Atlanta. I figured I'm out. going with the Atlanta Falcons to win the NFC West. You like you like birds. Running game. They picked up the best running back in the draft. Mm-hmm. They already got an offensive running running mind coach, and I think that's what they're going to do. They're going to run the ball Lee Ice. to an NFC South championship. Lee Ice, you must be hungry. You got a lot of ammo picks. You got the Eagles. Huh? You, got the, you got a lot of ammo picks. You must be hungry. You hungry? You got the uh, Lions. You got the uh, Eagles, and then you got the South. You hungry or something? A lot of music right there. Anyway, you know who I picked, Lee Ice? I've changed my pick about 20 times this week for this week. You know who I'm going with? The Copper Bay Buccaneers and Baker Mayfield. Hmm. I'll tell you what, Baker better do make some noise. I mean, this is last chance, you know. And I don't know how, uh, which car is it? David Carr? David Carr? Derek Carr. Derek Carr. I've always liked David Carr. Derek Carr. Derek Carr. Yeah, yeah. Derek Carr. Yeah, I've always liked Derek Carr. I always thought he got a bum rap in, 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 uh, with the Raiders. Although his last couple years, 
he deserved it because it, it looked like he lost some of them. When he first came out, he was he was he was that dude. But lately, it seemed like he's he been getting a little soft. Okay. But the like N I said, that division, you can come out with anybody in that division. The NFC West features the Soul Fire, Carl Ford, Hollywood, Randy Donut, LA Sunset, Drip Rank. And also, that Ryan Cerrone, that San Francisco treat, the San Francisco 49. And uh, Arizona, I play in a spaceship in the middle of the desert, Cargo. And the 12th man, Starbucks, that seafood, sea market with the salmon, and, 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 and the raining all the time, Seattle Seahawks. Who you got? It's another easy one. Especially if their quarterback stays healthy. Which quarterback? Take a pick. It don't matter. Okay. It don't matter. Shanahan, Shanahan is going to win with whatever quarterback you give. Okay. okay. So I'm going with the 49ers. Lee Ice. Mm -hmm. I am going with the San Francisco 49ers. I almost went with Seattle. All right, Lee Ice. Let's go All commercial right. break and we come back. We go by NFC. Wild card predictions and Super Bowl predictions. I heard what he said. Coming back with the Super, with the Super Bowl prediction and the wild card predictions. You're watching the All and Football Show. We are breaking down the NFL and we are in Toronto, Ontario, in Canada. We'll be right back, y'all. All right, Lee, we back from the break. So hey, let's, let's recap Wait. what you got. You okay. pick Eagles as division winners, Detroit, Atlanta, and San Francisco. Now, who are your wild card winners? My wild cards, I almost, I almost did it, just like last year. And it might come to, it might come true this year. All the wild cards might come out the NFC East, like it should have done last year. So my first two, I got the Commanders and the Cow, and then I got the Cowboys. I'm picking the Commanders over the Giants because it came down to them two last year. The Giants got them. I'm going to pick the Commanders this time. Nobody else in the other divisions, they don't do anything for me. Maybe Minnesota. But I think Minnesota, I think Detroit is just going to edge out Minnesota. And Minnesota is going to be just a little short in the wild card. So I got the Commanders and I got the Cowboys. But guess who I got as my third? Who? Oh. They coming back. They coming back, buddy. The Los Angeles Rams are coming back this year. Are you Everybody is sleeping on them. Oh, come on. <laughs> they won the injury away from that season being over. And and Donald 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 Donald. Come on, hey, guys. Coming back, big dog. You know, they have a last place schedule. This Let me say that again. They got 49ers twice. Okay, that's, two, that's only two losses. Okay. That's yeah. only two losses. Okay. And they got Arizona. That's two wins. Maybe. They, they probably split, split they Seattle. Split last year. Seattle. Seattle's going to take a step back. No disrespect to Geno Smith. But has he played two good seasons in a row in his whole career? And he's, what, 33, 34? And he's supposed to do it now? I don't think so. Green Bay, Chicago. I don't think so. Jordan Love, Justin Fields. I still don't. I mean, Justin Fields can run the ball. He's just a bigger Lamar Jackson. Prove me you can throw it, bro. I don't know nothing about Jordan Love. So, you know, who knows what he's going to do. All right. Commanders defense, Dallas defense, both of their offense, the Commanders, they're better at quarterback this year. And like I said, the Los Angeles Rams, they're coming back. They're so coming you got back. the Commanders, Cowboys, and Rams. So. Let's go to somebody got some talent. Uh -huh. 
you listen to what's got, got common sense right here. Me. I got common sense. Let's go to me. I got making the wild card. We're going to start out west. The 12th man in Starbucks and that Microsoft and the, the rain known as the Seattle Seahawks will make the wild card. They will be the first team to make. My second team will come out the east. The New York G-Man, the Giants will make it. Daniel Jones is going to have an MVP type of year this year. And what? Say, and Saquon got a lot to prove to get that money. He got a lot to prove. Got a lot to prove this year. They better make the playoffs. You say, go ahead. I said MVP type. I ain't say he's going to get it. MVP type. Yeah. Daniel Jones? Like, you have to take into consideration the Giants lost all three of their top receivers in the first four weeks of the season last year. Remember that? They played with backups and scrubs the whole year. Okay. And my last one. Ha! Ah, let's get shot. You ready for this, Lee Ice? Mm-hmm. Dun, 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 dun. Go, Pat, go! Dun, 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 dun. Go, Pat, go! Dun, 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 dun. Go, Pack go. That's right. The Green Bay Packers will be the last wild card team. Good enough. Good enough. Good Let me tell you why. Because the rest of the team is proven. Only person left was Aaron Rodgers, Lee. Right? Then he, he brought another receiver with him to the Jets, didn't he? Oh! And uh, what's the name? Both of them were the older dude. The older dude. He ain't bring the speed, the speed merch. Like I said, I don't, I don't know what Jordan Love is going to do. I, I don't have nothing to watch on him. So, I look, that's why I said in that division, I got Detroit, Minnesota, so Chicago. I got, I, guess I, got, pick, I got Green Bay coming in last in that division. I got the Giants, Packers, Seahawks. And, and it wouldn't surprise me if all four teams Make the playoffs in the NFC All right, like, East. We're pressed for time now. Who is your NFC Championship game? Wow. NFC Championship game, probably Ooh, be a rematch. rematch last last. Year. That's who you got? Yeah, Philly at San Fran. Whoever gets the home field advantage, I, I think San Fran will. So. I got the, I got something different, Lee. Okay. I got something different. Where's Shocky? Fly, Eagles, fly. We'll host the NFC Championship game against the Detroit Lions. Detroit Lions. That's right, you're Detroit Lions, the ice. And the Philadelphia Eagles in the NFC Championship game. I like that. I like that. Detroit like will go into San Francisco and beat San Francisco. Who's going to do that? Detroit will go into San Francisco and beat San Francisco. Like they did in 1982 with, with Billy Sims and beat Joe Montana and company. All right, I Lee, like I, that. Who is your Super Bowl representative next year? This, Super Bowl Day. representative. Let me show let me show my face in the thing. I want to see you. From the me. NFC will yeah. be. I want to see this. Will be, even though I cannot stand his daddy. I'm going to go with Kyle Shannon because he's going to have a healthy quarterback this time. And the Philadelphia Eagles will find out what would have happened last year if the quarterback stayed out. San Fran goes to the Super Bowl. And play Kansas City. And play Kansas City. And who wins? And who wins? Hmm. We're going to have a repeat champion, the Kansas City Chiefs. Well, I said Baltimore's going to go to Jacksonville, is going to the Super Bowl, and they will play the Philadelphia Fly Eagles Fly, and the MVP named Jalen Hurts, and the Jacksonville Jaguars will pull off the major upset of the year. That is your Super Bowl prediction. Lee Ice, we're running out of time. Take us home, Lee Ice. Duval County. <laughs> he picked the Jacksonville Jaguars, everybody, to go to the hey. Man, you need to run to Vegas and put whatever. You hit that.
<laughs> don't forget about don't forget about your boy. That's I, all never forget about you, I never forget about you. <laughs> all right, y'all. It's time to get out of here. We leave you like we always leave you. Whether you like it or don't like it, learn and love it. It's the best thing going. We are the all-in football show. See you.